This is question 20 of civil engineering paper of gate 2022 afternoon session. In a certain month, the reference crop evapotranspiration at a location is 6 mm per day. If the crop coefficient and soil coefficient are 1.2 and 0.8 respectively, the actual evapotranspiration in millimeter per day is. So, in this question, reference crop evapotranspiration at a location is given as 6 mm per day and the crop coefficient and soil uh, coefficient are also given as 1.2 and 0.8 respectively. Now, we need to compute the actual evapotranspiration. So, for solving this question, uh, we need to know some terminology like actual evapotranspiration, reference crop tr uh, evapotranspiration. So, you may uh, uh, study in detail about this uh, terminology and um, different methods to compute evapotranspiration by watching lecture 29, Evapotranspiration Engineering Hydrology by Dr. Srija Pekat, IIT Guwahati. So, just recall uh, this uh, terminology. So, evapotranspiration uh, is the combination of two words, evaporation and transpiration. So, evaporation is evaporation directly from the soil surface, whereas transpiration occur through vegetation. So, we may say that the processes of evaporation from the land surface and transpiration from vegetation are collectively termed evapotranspiration. There are different terminology to designate evapotranspiration uh, like potential evapotranspiration. So, potential evapotranspiration means evapotranspiration that would occur from the vegetati, uh, vegetative surface when there is sufficient water always available to meet the needs of vegetation means when the surface has sufficient water for that crop or vegetation in that case the evapotranspiration occurs is known as potential evapotranspiration and in uh, practically or in many uh, conditions sometimes uh, in a dry situation there are uh, lesser uh, moistures available in soil to meet the uh, availability of that crop uh, or uh, for that vegetation. So, in that case, the evapotranspiration occur is called actual evapotranspiration. So, actual evapotranspiration is less than potential evapotranspiration. Now, reference crop evapotranspiration. So, for uh, to compare uh, uh, evapotranspiration at uh, different places or for different uh, crop, uh, there is a term reference crop evapotranspiration. So, the evaporation rate from a reference surface with no shortage of water, whereas this reference surface is defined is uh, reference surface is the one with the 8 to 15 centimeter of healthy growing green grass. So, in that case or for that reference surface, the evaporation rate occurs is called reference crop evapotranspiration. So, based on reference crop evapotranspiration, we may find actual evapotranspiration. As we know, this actual evapotranspiration depends upon the soil condition and the type of crops. So, we may say that actual evapotranspiration is equal to reference crop evapotranspiration into soil coefficient, soil coefficient, soil coefficient into crop coefficient, crop coefficient, crop coefficient. As we just discussed that actual evapotranspiration depends on the soil condition, soil strata or types of crops. That is why we uh, use this formula to find the actual evapotranspiration equal to difference crop evapotranspiration into soil coefficient into crop coefficient. 
so in this question we have the value of crop coefficient and soil coefficient so we may find the actual evapotranspiration equal to reference crop tra uh, evapotranspiration which is 6 mm per day into soil coefficient which is 0.8 into crop coefficient which is 1.2 so when we compute it we will get actual evapotranspiration as 5.76 millimeter per day so we got the actual evapotranspiration is 5.76 millimeter per day which is given in option a so option a is the correct answer for this question thank you